Ladies and gentlemen, I am tired, okay? I've been in this builder all night. I'm going to sleep after I record this, okay? So listen, please just drop a like on the video, man. So here's my plan. I put a tweet out, right? I said, what build do y'all want first? Of course, y'all said LeBron. So I'm gonna bring you my LeBron build, but here's what I wanna do. I wanna get at least my first four or five builds out right away. And then I'll show the gameplay afterwards once I get badges and all that stuff, okay? So listen, every time one of these build videos gets 20,000 likes, I'll drop the next one. So if this one gets 20,000 likes in the first hour or two, I'll drop the next build that I'm gonna make today. I got Luka, Giannis, KD, and then I got a I got a surprise fifth build that I'm gonna drop, all right? So this one is my LeBron build. Similar to 2K20, I'm gonna go more offensive. We'll call it regular season LeBron, okay? So before y'all judge, just hear me out on the build because all I see in all these build videos, I see everyone in the comments, that build's trash. You don't have this, you don't have that. Until you get in this builder, don't say somebody else's build is trash because it's very restricted. And I was watching people stream last night, even though they weren't supposed to, but they were doing it anyways, because they don't care. They got in the builder and they were stumped. They couldn't figure out why this was moving like that. So if you haven't watched my builder breakdown video, make sure y'all go check that out. But without further ado, let's get into this LeBron James build on NBA 2K23. All right, here we go. I haven't done the face creation yet. I need a good LeBron James face creation, okay? So if anyone has one, make sure y'all DM me. Either tweet it at me, DM me on Instagram, hit me up on TikTok, comment it down below, I don't know. Just find a way to reach out to me and let me know, okay? So LeBron is li listed at six foot nine. But when you look at the six foot nine builds, your speed with ball gets killed this year. Now, we could go minimum weight, but that's not really LeBron. We need strength. Also this year, if you haven't heard, they added the bully badge. We want bully. It's LeBron. He bullies people in the paint. He's strong. You know what I mean? He's a beast. We need bully badge. So we're not going minimum weight. But if we start cranking this up to get, you know, our strength into the high 80s, low 90s, you see we're down to 73 speed with ball. To me, I'd rather be closer to 80. So if we drop this down to six foot eight, you see now we can get 89 strength and 78 speed with ball. I like that. Also, we're gonna crank up this wingspan all the way to max. And you're gonna see why in a second. Obviously wingspan has always mattered in 2K. I think this year, especially with how I'm making this build, having max wingspan is really gonna help us, all right? so. We want 89 strength, so we're gonna have to put this up just a bit more. We want 89 strength, 89 strength, because that gives us gold bully, okay? So make sure when you're making your builds, whether it's this build or a different build, make sure you understand the thresholds you need to reach certain badge uh, categories, in, not categories, uh, badge levels, okay? I know, gold bully is 89 strength, so I'm gonna make sure this build has 89 strength, okay? So we're gonna go 235, so that we get 80, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. 236 okay 236 with the uh with the 89 strength body site doesn't matter we'll go, i mean you can go built define whatever i'm gonna go define for now so <clears throat> here's what we're gonna do as i said it's a regular season lebron so the first thing we're gonna do is the physicals okay we want really good physicals obviously on our lebron build we got speed excel max it out we got strength max it out stamina we're gonna go to 95 and then vertical this year for players that are over six foot five okay so if you're six five and under to get small contact dunks you need 85 vertical but we can't get small contacts because we're too tall so to get the pro and the elite contact dunks uh elite contact dunks 82 vertical okay so that's what we're gonna do make sure we save as many attributes as we can okay now we'll go up to the finishing actually let's start with the playmaking because it is lebron right so even though we have 89 strength we're still gonna have an 89 ball handle and that's gonna allow us to get quick first step on Hall of Fame, okay? Quick first step on Hoff, I really like that. Also, if you don't see this, we're gonna have Ankle Breaker on Hall of Fame, all right? So we're getting there. 77 speed with ball, and then of course it's Braun, we need some pass accuracy, right? We gotta be throwing dots out here. We're gonna have 82 pass accuracy, which gives us 23 playmaking badges. Not bad at all. Now let's go up to the finishing, the next most important Braun category, right? Elite contact dunks are 92 driving dunk. So of course, it's the LeBron. We gotta have elite contacts. But as you can see, even with 92, we only have silver posterizer. You go up one more tick to 93, we get gold posterizer. Beautiful. Driving layup, we're going up to an 80. 
Close shot, we're going up to an 85. You're gonna notice here, at 82, you get this gold masher badge. Another, another new badge that's gonna help you really just dominate the paint. Of course, we go along with the bully badge that we already have on gold. We're looking, we're looking like a beast down low. Now, we're gonna put this up to 85 for this version of the build. I'm gonna show you a little bit different version after this with a little bit more defense for those of you that want that. But like in 2K20, I don't know if y'all remember my LeBron build in 2K20, I had one defensive badge for a lot of the year. And then as the year went on and I hit legend and I unlocked more badges, then I switched up the attributes. So this year with seasons, every season at level 39, you get plus one badge upgrades. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna add badges. We'll probably remake the build later on when we have, you know, an extra 10, 15 badges after all the seasons and we can make a different version of this build. But for now, also, I forgot to mention, you get plus four badges again like how last year you got plus four for college, you get that again. So you're gonna get plus four badge upgrades, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So let me just, ra I'm sorry, I know I'm talking a lot, but 77 driving dunk, that's gonna give us 21, 21 finishing badges, man. It's beautiful. You're gonna see, I'm gonna put the badges on after this. It works out perfectly. Now, max out your three ball, 84 three pointer. I saw people in the park shooting with low 80 three pointers with no badges no badges okay we're gonna have on this build 21 shooting badges when we when we get all our badges right so with no badges if you're green in low 80s three-pointer with an 84 three and 21 shooting badges i don't think we'll have a problem especially with how dominant we are in the paint people are gonna have to back up give us more space you know we, we let it fly no problem all right uh your free throw we're gonna put this up to 78 doesn't give you any badges but it was just leftover attributes and uh you know i play five sometimes rec whatever pro am obviously you guys seen the video so i want a little bit of free throw now the defense you see we're already 97 overall but we're gonna finesse this a little bit i told you the max wingspan is gonna matter because that's gonna help us a lot on defense even though we don't have a lot of attributes now as i said it's regular season lebron okay that's what we're gonna call it because our defense is not gonna be great but we're gonna have a 70 perimeter which unlocks as you can see gold i mean uh, gold imagine unlocks bronze clamps but here's the thing if you watch my builder breakdown video you guys are gonna know tier three we're not even gonna have enough badges to be able to unlock tier three badges so even though we can get it we can't equip it right now anyway so not really that big of a deal but what we are gonna do is 58 steel which might sound like nothing but with a 76 max wingspan and 58 steel we do get bronze interceptor and with them long arms we should be able to get some passing lanes here and there when need be you know come up with a clutch stop now it is lebron we have to have chase down i uh, trust me i i know these things right so we're gonna put this up to 47 and it just so happens that is the perfect level to unlock bronze chase down artist so that's one version you can make. Another version, if you wanna have a little bit more defense but still be dominant on offense, basically what you're gonna to have to do, which I'm not gonna go with this version to start, I'm gonna be honest, because listen, having being a YouTuber has its perks. I, will, I can play with people that make specific builds to play with me. I know you guys don't have that luxury, right? My, my teammates will, will be good rebounders, good defenders, and spot up shooters so that I can do my thing. Like that's a benefit of, you know, people wanting to play with you, but, but you guys that might be playing with randoms or whatever, maybe you want to be able to rebound a little bit, you want to do other things. So take your close shot down to 82. Take your standing dunk down to a 54. You can't go any lower than this because you're going to lose your driving dunk, right? Uh, if you go down, or you could you could go down a little bit more. You could go down to 48, but we want to get that 17th badge so that you could get gold tier 3 badges. So you got to go to 54. That's why I'm saying you can't go down any lower. And now, since you did that, you have a little bit more and you can put your rebound up to a oh wait, wait wait 67 i'm missing one thing oh sorry lower your free throw down to 66 this was the first version i was going to go with that's going to give you plus three and that would allow you to get the bronze rebound chaser but again it's a tier three badge you don't have enough defensive badges because you have to equip 10 in tier one and tier two before you can use tier three if you don't understand this go watch my builder breakdown video but we're not even gonna be able to get rebound chase. So that's why I was like, why am I gonna waste all these attributes on a badge that I really can't even get? Obviously you're gonna rebound more. You're gonna rebound better with 70, even without the badge than you are with my original build, which had like what, like a 40 something. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, or 32, 32 rebound. You're obviously gonna rebound better with the 70, but for me, I'm going all offense to start the year, baby. Like I'm gonna play decent enough defense, honestly. 
I know it doesn't look like it, but just like in 2K20, a lot of people were like, that build has no defense or trash. It's like, bro, I was 6'7", long arms, I had strength, like I, I could I, I could defend, like I get in position, I'm not gonna be guarding ball like a lockdown, but I can hold my own to the point that, uh, you know, I'm not just gonna be be a complete liability. And the same thing with this with this build right here, I'm 6'8", with a 7'6", wingspan, 89 strength, 70 perimeter, like I'm not a complete liability. I'm not good on defense, and let's be honest, LeBron be chilling in the regular season. He, he, you know, he doesn't play a ton of defense. It, you know, he's he'll play possessions where he plays good defense, but overall, you know, he's coasted through the regular season. Hopefully, trying to get to the playoffs. Not last season, but hey, he was trash and he got hurt. But anyways, let's put on these badges so you can see what I'm talking about. We have slasher, shot, sharp, and play. It's all, it's all. Um, offense it's all you know just dominate on offense whatever you put on you can i'm pretty sure you can change this later on so right now let's just go let's go with limitless you know lebron hitting them i can't say that word on youtube fu threes you guys know the jokes right but um here's what's really cool about the way i made this build okay so we the badges work out perfectly and you're gonna get plus four badge upgrades and um, and you're going to get the plus one if you hit level 39 in the seasons. But it's called the inside out point forward. Pretty, pretty damn good LeBron James build name. Not facilitating finisher like back in the day, but inside out point forward. That's pretty damn close to what I would consider LeBron. And here we go with the badges, okay? So first things first, you're going to get fearless finisher on gold. Beautiful. You're going to get master on gold. Now we're going to get three tier three badges once we get our plus four badge upgrades from that little quest or whatever you have to do when you start my career. Just like just like last year, if you guys remember, you got plus four badge upgrades, okay? So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to core badge posterizer. Then we're going to buy bully. And let's say we want limitless takeoff, right? Oh, you only have four badge upgrades. You can't get it. But we're gonna get plus four. We're gonna get plus four badge upgrades. So I'm gonna put three into finishing and I'm gonna be able to have gold bully, gold limitless, and gold posterizer. Or if I want slithery, I could take one off, put on gold slithery. So once we equipped our extra badge upgrades, I calculated it out perfectly. I'm gonna put three into finishing and then I think I'm gonna go with the other one into playmaking, okay? But uh, for now, We'll just put on, uh, let's just go with a uh, fast twitch, okay? So shooting, we have 21 shooting badges, man. It's it, it's beautiful, all right? So we could go green machine on gold. We have a lot of choices, but I'm just running through this kind of quickly, okay? You have agent threes if you wanna be, uh, you know, shooting pull up or spin shots from the three point line if you wanna be creative. Um, you know, we'll just throw that on so that we can get down to the core badges uh, relatively quickly, volume, whatever. All right, or, or let's take off volume, I don't know. Let's, uh, clutch, game winners, baby whatever you want to put on right obviously just use this as a template put on whatever you want but we have 10 badges left so we can go limitless on bronze we could go catch and shoot core badge it and we still have five more upgrades if you want to go dead eye if you want to go blinders you know i haven't really tested blinders out but for now we'll go dead eye and see how that is playmaking badges ankle breaker hall of fame quick first step hall of fame and we're already down here into the tier three badges and you're gonna get three of them on this again just like we did for finishing we calculated it out we calculated it perfectly for playmaking you're gonna have uh we're gonna buy handles for days you're gonna core unpluckable and you still have seven left if you want to go clamp breaker or killer combos or maybe you want to go back in here and, and, and put some stuff on here but my plan to start is to go clamp breaker improves the ability to fight off contact protect the ball and drive by opponents as the ball handler. So we're gonna have bully, masher, and clamp breaker all on gold. You're gonna be LeBron, you're gonna be LeBron James. You're gonna drive to the, the paint. You're gonna throw people out of the Remember what he did to Tyler Hero in the bubble? Where Tyler Hero, you just get off me and you just throw it down. That's gonna be you in the park, just bullying people. Okay, moving on to the defense. This is obviously where we don't have a lot, but I did calculate this out pretty well. So you could get the two most important badges. You could throw on core badge, interceptor, and then you could put chase you could buy chase down and there you go you have interceptor to steal passes chase down to, to to chase people down and block people at the rim and i still think we'll play decent enough defense on the perimeter because of the long arms the 70 perimeter defense that you know contest shots and move your feet a little bit 
And the 89 strength, I think, is really going to help when people try to drive past you. It's going to body up and not allow them to slip past you. Now, again, it's not a great defensive build, but neither was the first LeBron James build we made in 2K20, and we all ended up loving that. I got so many comments about how people had so much fun on that build and won so many games. I guarantee you, whatever doubts you have about this build, obviously tweak it to your liking if you want to make it. But I'm going to have a 90 to 95 win percentage in the park. Like, let's be real. It's park, guys. Like, you, you can make a build and have a little bit more fun. You don't have to be a complete meta build type of player. But this is it, man. This is going to be the LeBron James build to start the NBA 2K23 year off, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, yeah. 20,000 likes, and I'll drop the next build video, all right? I'll drop it ASAP. Y'all let me know if y'all want it. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.